What is DOM? Uh, DOM basically it's, it stands for document object model and uh, it is uh, you know it's, it's it's just a structure of the page it has different nodes and different elements yeah that's that's what DOM is what are the differences between absolute and absolute position uh, these two are basically your uh, uh, CSS positions uh, absolute is when your element is placed absolutely. Uh, uh, so there should be a relative parent, and to that uh, absolute element is placed. That is absolute, and relative uh, element is placed relatively to its uh, actual position. So basically, absolute element should have a relative parent element. That is the main difference. What are closures in JavaScript? Closures, uh, basically they are the functions which can access the parent uh, environment data. So let's say we have a function and there is some variable defined outside of that function. Then if uh, then the function can access that variable which is uh, outside of that function. So this is a closure. The French ES5 and ES6. ES5 uh, stands for ECMAScript 5 and ES6 uh, stands for ECMAScript 6. The main and the major differences are ES6 has uh, introduced new keywords, let and const. Previously in ES5, we only had the var keyword. And then ES6 has introduced arrow functions and restructuring as well. So these are the main features of ES6, which are really useful uh, while building the applications. Okay. What are different methods of array? Uh, there are so many uh, methods of, of array. There is filter, there is for each, there is map, reduce. Uh, these are the four methods which I use most of the times. Okay, now differentiate for each and map methods of array. Uh, map basically returns the value, whereas for each does not return anything. So these two methods works quite similarly, but the only difference is uh, what I told that map returns uh, the result or the value, whereas for each does not. Tell me which version of relative values. I mostly use 16.8. Okay, which components are better? Class or functional and why? Functional components are much better than the class components because in functional components you can write cleaner code with the introduction of hooks. Uh, it allows us to write, uh, you know, uh, basically club the uh, similar code into a single hook. So for example, use effect hook provides us to write some uh, side effects, uh, not side effects, it is called side effects. And it, it mimics the component did mount, component did update, and component uh, will unmount. So you can club the logic for all these three lifecycle hooks into a single uh, hook. So that's why it is uh, better. And it's, it's, it's better to read the code as well with the functional components because they are so lighter than the class component. Use versus reduce versus These two are the hooks of React which you can use on the functional component. Use memo, uh, memoize the value. Uh, uh, basically, it keeps a track of the last computed value, and whenever the dependency uh, of its array changes, instead of recalculating the entire logic, it uh, returns the memoize value. And uh, use callback 
is, uh, so your functions which are passing to the child component are wrapped into use callback. With that, uh, it avoids a re-rendering. Okay, how to pass data from child to parent? Child to parent uh, data passing is uh, most of the times it is tricky, but there are ways to do it. Like we can write callback when the parent component pass that to the child, and whenever required, we can pass the value back to the parent from child. Then we can create some ref or something. But uh, the ideal way is to always pass the data from parent to child. Uh, wherever it makes sense, so we should lift the state up to the parent component so that we do not need to pass this. Uh, data from child to parent. How to make application performant? It totally depends on the use case. So, uh, let's say if you are using a list of items, if you are entering a list of items on the screen and it, it's a use list, then it's better to use infinite scrolling uh, uh, instead of displaying all the items in a one go. If you are using some image, then get the image in low resolution uh, in the form of thumbnail and then whenever the user clicks it, get the actual image. So that will uh, make it performant and also we can use lazy loading and functional components. What are different types of data types in software? So there are three phases basically, uh, mounting, updating, and unmounting. There we have constructor, then the render method, get drive sheet from probes, then component did mount, then component did update, should component update, get snapshot before update, and component will unmount. Define the role of the component in Uh, Redux is a state manager. It sits at the top of your application and knows, uh, knows a lot about your application state. Any component in the React can access the data from Redux via actions or reducers, or you can get a slice of uh, any state from the Redux because it has a single store. Context API uh, has two parts in it. One is the provider and second is the consumer. We can provide the data at the top of the application and then any uh, component which is a consumer can consume the data. Basically it is used for the authentication purposes. What are actions and reducers in Redux? Actions are plain JavaScript object which has a type of action and then some payload and reducers are the only way to update the store. Okay, it was nice talking to you. I will share my feedback with HR and she will let you know. Okay with that? Uh, yes, absolutely. Okay, thanks. Hey.